setters. Well, today my interview is on a new startup company, Hiring Hood. What they're all about, no, I want to explore more about it, not to say anything. Let's hear from his own voice, Mr. Sharat sir. Welcome to you on the show. Hi, and Neha. I was so excited to know about Hiring Hood. I love the name. Yeah. So would you like to say something about the name first? Yes. So, hmm. so the name Hiring Hood is basically we coined because... Uh, See, one way it is basically it represents uh, Robin Hood. Hmm. So, uh, because Robin Hood is the one who actually helped people. Hmm. Another thing is that it rhymes with uh, brotherhood, motherhood, sisterhood, hmm. familyhood and all. So, that's the reason we want uh, actually, we want to build an aggregation platform hmm. which brings all peop all stakeholders together. Hmm. That's the reason for it. And the interesting part is that we have identified the horse as our logo okay. to the brand. Okay, Bas horse. Okay. Yeah, horse as a logo to our brand because Horse, horse is actually known for its uh, stability, trustworthiness, and most importantly, the speed. So we want to be the fastest uh, stakeholder in the entire recruitment process, which helps employers to hire people faster. Hmm. So that's the uh, uh, reason why we actually named ourselves Hiring Hood and with the logo as a horse. I would more interested to know about your journey also, like yeah. you've been into into like a good education background, then a big mm. job profile you have. Yeah. What clicked you to just leave your job? If you can talk about your last uh, job where were you working, and yeah. then what made <coughs> you to work on this? Again, it's a struggle, like to yeah. start on your own. It's not a joke, right? Yeah. It's a lot yeah. of pain and struggle you have to go through. Yes. Sitting at a one place, getting permanent salary, and then you <laughs> leave everything, and what makes you that? See, w see, to start with, I was an entrepreneur earlier as well. Mm -hmm. So, and once you are bitten by an entrepreneurial bug, it stays with you forever. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I started my journey as an entrepreneur in 2007 to 2010. Mm -hmm. But it's in, it's in non-IT space. But my, maybe in the current context, I will hold it for some time. We can discuss about it that mm -hmm. part later. Mm -hmm. But actually, uh, what intrigued me is that when I was working as a head of delivery in one of the biggest IT service company. Wow. So, and I was actually helping my customers. In fact, I was working for uh, Fortune 5 uh, IT product company. It's an MNC, it's mm -hmm. a billion dollar company. What intrigued me was they being a biggest brand, okay, and they have 300 to 500 recruitment vendors on their side. Uh, brands like them also literally used to run after me, seeking help, and literally begging and pleading me to can you please help us out with, with these resources? Mm -hmm. We don't have, we are losing billing, we are failing to deliver these products, mm -hmm. and we are, our customers are actually uh, escalating things on us. Mm -hmm. uh, we are under tremendous pressure. So that, that's actually intrigued me, uh, literally, like, why is this a, a company of this scale and size? How can they not have resources on time? Mm. So there has to be some alternatives. Mm. And as an engineering leader, most of the times my task was always to ramp up teams faster. Mm. And most of them it's like yesterday types. Mm. And, and since yesterday is already gone, mm. most of my management or my customers used to ask me whether we can do it today or tomorrow. Mm. So the, the sense of urgency is always there. It's always there. And there are some stakeholders are there in the industry, but you have challenge with everyone. So there, uh, it's not that uh, there is no stakeholder who is helping and all, but it's not at the pace that the corporate wants it. Mm. So do you know that on an average, India loses around half a billion dollar revenue oh. just because not able to fulfill uh, these resources on time? Mm -hmm. Because sometimes it so happens that if you're not able to fulfill on time, mm. it goes to the other countries. India is losing big time. It, it, big time and all. Mm. And even bigger problems. And there are typically, there are three stakeholders uh, that you can think of where they're supposed to help you, um, but uh, when it, really when it comes to the emergency. Mm. But every every stakeholder, existing stakeholder has a problem. Like for example, a bigger company might have an internal recruitment team. But the challenge with them is that since the recruitment comes in bursts, mm. They can't afford to have a larger teams. Yeah, larger teams. Larger yeah. teams. So, they, uh, mm. so it costs them because the requirements are not consistent mm. throughout the year. Mm. So they'll end up having smaller teams, and and they actually have more of vendors, recruitment vendors, and helping them to fulfill this position. Mm. So it essentially means that these internal recruitment teams can't do volume hire and an accelerated hiring because the teams are small. Yes. The second stakeholder is the job boards. Mm. The job boards problem is that. Their business model is not oriented towards accelerated hiring. They say that I have a database of profiles. If you want to hire people, you just need to find the needle in the haystack all by yourself. Mm -hmm. 
So you put a search string and you might end up having some 3,000 people coming up. And you need to find out whether he's interested or looking for a job change, this location, this title, this salary and all. Someone has to do that heavy lifting. Mm. So their business model is not oriented towards accelerated hiring. Okay. The, the third one are these recruitment agencies. The problem the with them... The normal agencies, we get our consultant you're talking yes, about. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. The problem with them is that uh, even if you go with the bigger size uh, mm -hmm. recruitment agencies, like mm -hmm. some have 300, 500,000 recruiters, mm -hmm. the problem with them is that uh, while they have those many number of recruitment uh, recruiters with that agency, they also have equal number of employers on the other side. Okay. So net net, you might, if you engage with 500 recruiters ka recruitment agency, hardly you'll get one or two guys working for you. Oh. You might be on the perception that uh, those many guys will be really put on, because they have so many other customers mm. that they should be engaging and working. And getting a skilled person, that's Sk also a big challenge. Real, <laughs> real, real, real challenge. So mm -hmm. the existing stakeholders were not able to help you with an accelerated mm -hmm. hiring. That's where I found a uh, problem, and actually, it's an interesting problem to solve. Yes. So it's a very interesting because I've seen everyone and everyone, and, and industry has reached a status quo situation. So there's no no innovation happening in recruitment tech. So that's the reason we uh, decided to solve this problem. It's an interesting problem, wherein what happens is that uh, typically, if employer wants to hire people faster, they come to us, mm. and of course, they are ready to pay a little premium mm. because we really mm. help them solve the problem. Mm -hmm. And what we create is, is a, something called a contest on the platform, mm. where this is on the demand side. Mm. And on the supply side, we have aggregated more than 500 plus recruitment agencies uh -huh. across Pan India. So uh, where they were actually mandated to source only either immediate joiners mm -hmm. or who can join in less than 30 day notice period only. Okay. Which essentially means that we are taking hot demand on one side, mm. hot supply and on the other it's side. It's sometimes it's a relief for the people who are like serving on 30 days notice. It's a yes. big relief. Yes, yes, Layoffs yes. are happening. Yes. Yeah. That's also a big relief. For yeah, yeah, even for the job seekers <laughs> yes. who got laid off also. Yeah. Our ask is to basically, we give more importance for the people who are immediately ready, available. Ready to join. So, so, the, so for them, it, it's, it's really, it's helping them. Yes. Basically, this platform helps either side. Mm. And also, the, put it simple, we are like an ambulance service in the recruitment industry. Okay, that's a great, great line, <laughs> ambulance for the recruitment service. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So uh, what we, as, as I was just uh, mentioning, when the employer wants to hire people faster, they come to us and we create something called a contest. How much time you take, like? See, typically we can help them in onboarding in average two to three weeks time frame. God. Because all, all the job seekers that we have on the platform mm -hmm or either immediate joiners or can join in less than 30 day notice. And how uh, they can connect to you, like somebody wants to connect to you directly? See, we actually... Like a person who's looking for a job. Yeah, we are actually, right now we have built only two personas. One is that uh, our hiring hood persona mm. and the other one is a recruitment persona. Mm. We are actually adding two more personas. One mm. is the employer persona and the job seeker mm. persona. Where job seekers can directly upload their resumes mm -hmm. and mention their availability, whether they are available immediately okay. or lost a job and all. Mm -hmm. And that actually comes as a priority list for us. So this is a website or like we how have we a, can we, this go? Is, we typically call it as a marketplace platform. Okay. So we already have that and people can actually log into that. And, and Hiringhood. Yes, hiringhood.com. Okay. So that, that's where uh, they can actually, uh, on the employers, they can come and register. Okay. And recruitment agencies can come and register themselves and job You're the mediocre, like you said, the ambulance part you're playing. Yeah, we, 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 we are the middleman. Mm -hmm. yeah, we are like... Uh, so uh, how you differentiate your company or your skills as compared to consultants who are providing uh, employers or solving employer problem? How you differentiate yourself? Like, it's that's just a fast way you're giving. No, no, not that. We, mm -hmm. we actually have a lot, lot of things that are different. See, if, if you take a typical recruitment company, mm -hmm. they don't have any tech. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if we take, we actually were able to figure out that entire, if you take the entire recruitment assembly line, mm -hmm. there are 15 different steps that are, you can chop it off into smaller steps. So, everywhere, every small step either can be actually uh, automated mm -hmm. and solved. In what we figured out is that out of these 15 steps, eight steps were already solved by others, mm -hmm. other players. But there are seven more places, steps, where there's no solution exists. So we are actually trying to build those solutions. Okay. Like for example, uh, we are trying to build screening and shortlisting tool. Mm -hmm. Right now, it doesn't, it's not there, uh, A enabled screening mm -hmm. and shortlisting tool. And the second interesting thing is that if uh, employers typically doesn't know what the probability of, if I make an offer to a job seeker, what's the probability of he joining us. 
So we have built a job seeker joining probability tool. So how long is this setup company like when it started? We are a three years old company. Okay. Okay. And uh, good part is that we are incubated out of T-Hub as a part of their T-Angel mm -hmm. cohort five. Mm -hmm. So out of 600 companies, uh, they picked up top 13 and we are uh, in the top 13. So is it like when you came out from your job, is the investment you made of typically your own investment? See, I'm, I'm, I would say I'm a little fortunate enough to, uh, of course, I have my savings and mm -hmm. all. I, 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 I invested in the company. Mm -hmm. And the best part is that I have some friends and family uh, who initially helped me in the angel round, okay. who invested in the company, uh, and they really helped me to build this company. So what was your first investment you would like to reveal? Uh, we got around 50 lakhs. 50 lakhs investment. Yeah, yeah 50 lakhs is the investment that uh, we got. Now it will be in uh, billions. The no, turnover no, no, you no. have made it. <laughs> yeah. So now, now recently we closed our seed round, hmm. uh, where wherein we raise, raised a half a million dollar. Great. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Doing thanks. well. I think that's yeah. a great inspiration from yeah. 50 lakhs to this way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so work hard can take you to any way. Touch definitely. Your skies. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And it it's all happened because. Uh, of course, we got the support from uh, T-Hub as well. Mm. And we also got another entity by name, uh, International Startup Foundation mm -hmm. called ISF uh, Bangalore. Uh, it was co-founded by a person by name J.H. Choudhury, mm. along with his so team. So what was your age time then when you were uh, started your this? Uh, I'm around start. 42 now. Uh, now I'm uh, that time? 42, now it's 45. So people always think of, you know, the starters is only for the youngsters. So there is no age bar. No, definitely. Because on, I, when we are into 40s, we think, yeah, it's a relaxed job. Let's not take the risk. So I think that risk taking factor is very important. Yeah, that, that, that is, that, that's the differentiator, I would say. Hmm. Yeah, first thing, perseverance and the risk taking ability is the only one I see personally. Hmm. Hmm as a biggest trait yes, and yes. of course along with that uh, the mindset of a uh, winning mindset or entrepreneurial mindset is what you need hmm. so for me those are, those are the three key elements if someone wants to uh, the risk taking ability hmm. for the perseverance uh, and also the patience <laughs> for, yeah 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 so, and the third one is the entrepreneurial mindset so, so you started with the how many staff members that time i think so we, we started with only three people initially okay. uh, and later now we are around close to 30 people now so now you have a very uh, yeah yeah all youngsters energy is youngsters <laughs> energy i can see yeah. they were so focused in their work yeah. and I, I love this one concept of your company all young People are yeah, there, yeah. and the smile is there. Uh, except me, everyone is. <laughs> <laughs> so it was some idea. Like uh, yeah. sometimes so, we feel like okay, young people have more ideas, and that's just is very important. Yes, that yes. I should compliment. So you. As, a, as a culture wise, mm. uh, what I I believed is that mm. okay, of course, let me tell you on a lighter note. So earlier, I was actually taking 100% credit for whatever the problem mm. and the solution that I have. Mm. So after I hired the youngsters and all, mm -hmm. we did something called uh, workshops. Mm -hmm. So just to brainstorm and see uh, is the solution really correct mm -hmm. and validate and all. So it so happened that uh, the entire team mm. and a few others who actually joined our workshops mm -hmm. added so much of value, mm. they stole 75% credit from me. Oh. So I, I only have 25% credit left. That 75%, the way it got shaped up happened only because of the team. And the and young people. And, and the youngsters. And okay, the, so I, I, the most scope in hiring hood is for young people. Youngsters, yes, youngsters. yes, yes. Okay. And, and we believe in that, uh, that open culture. Anyone at any point of time can be challenged. Right. So we, we, even I get shot every day. I get challenged every day by my team. Yes. Even now also if I suggest something, <laughs> <laughs> there are so Good. many people who will shot me down saying that, that's, that, that doesn't make sense, it will not work. Oh, great. Uh, maybe uh, there's a diff different alternatives of doing it. Maybe it will cost us less and uh, the time is also less if you follow this. So they, they keep suggesting that. So I think it's a leadership quality you have that you're listening I, I to believe your staff, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. your colleagues, yeah, your yeah, people. Yeah. You They're know? amazing. If you, if you just empower them, uh, sometimes they are better than you. Yes, true, true. So true. And, and I'm, I'm so fortunate and I believe in that culture. So, and moreover, uh, sometimes innovation is very costly yes, affair. Yes. So if it is actually um, someone is thinking about the problem and they're coming up with a solution, let better embrace them. Mm. And let and not based on the age and experience. I no, think. On no, the base no, of idea, no, we no, should no. We, we don't give, my, my co-founder is 10 to 12 years younger than me. See. So I, I listen to him. Uh, 
on so many it's aspects. So only idea works. Yeah, idea works. Idea <laughs> the solution. Works. The solution works. So and you're just on the sector of IT or other sectors also see, you're exploring? Right, right. See, right now, because our uh, forte is in IT, okay. because I, I come from a BTEC mm -hmm. background and I'm an engineering leader. Mm -hmm. So, because that's a known terrain, mm -hmm. uh, we would like to solve the problem in IT first. So, would you like to explore in other sectors also in yes, the future? Yes, yes. See, the solution that we are trying to build is basically horizontally and vertically scalable. Mm -hmm. When I say horizontally scalable, it actually, if you solve it in IT, mm -hmm. we can solve it for BFSA, manufacturing, retail and all. Because everywhere there is an accelerated hiring mm -hmm. demand happens. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, people wants to start, start something mm -hmm. and there is shortage of people. So acceleration is needed, ambulance is needed everywhere, everywhere and every, yeah. everywhere. And when I say it's vertical uh, is scalable, it actually means that uh, if it's if you solve it for India, we can solve it for in Australia, Europe. But India, right now you are more focused US, on India. Right? Indian market right Indian now, market. but but how many yeah. like states you have covered or like? So all all, all states. We see we have employers from uh, all different places, all ten major cities. Good. And uh, all our recruitment vendor base, 500 plus, or across pan India, maybe all so the from states. Here, from here to go to other countries, that's also an platform can be created. Like yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That's in, the, in most likely, maybe in six months to one year time frame. That's your I, now next yeah. platform. Yes, hmm. yes. So most likely we might actually explore uh, the U.S. market, hmm. U.S. and Canada market first, mm -hmm. and post that we can think of Europe and Australia. Wow. Yeah. I mean, your journey is so eye-opening. <laughs> yeah. Really, the way you have hmm. come up with this theme this idea can change somebody like that yeah. line is in idea can change a life yeah, I truly and agree. you are doing that I yes. think you are changing the lives of people yes yes and especially the employers also if, if you see see everyone everyone is surviving because there are businesses who are doing good and if you, if, if if the businesses succeed mm. my belief is that uh, the societies also will thrive better true so so it uh, of course so many people say it's the bottom up for me it's the other way around Mm. If you are able to make your employers or customers who are actually struggling mm. to get this manpower, because these businesses typically help when they hire what they do. Yeah. They are going to solve problems for the world. Yes. So if you are hi helping them in hiring and the right talent in the shortest possible time, then I think I am actually contributing something True. to And one thing you are contributing to India. Yes. That the project <laughs> should not go out of country. Yes, yes, it obviously. It will remain to our uh, yeah, India I, I, and we I, I can grow economically. I definitely want to be selfish there. So no, I, our India, I mean that growth yes. will be there, economic yes. growth, that growth goes to everybody, you know. Yeah, everybody, yeah. And you better, better uncash on the opportunity because we are the biggest uh, IT, survey, yes. I, IT resource pool mm -hmm. that we have in among the, the de facto destination for any IT mm. is India. Mm. So you better actually... Uh, take 100 percent advantage of it and maximize it don't uh, have any holes left so that we op revenue slips to other countries and all i love this uh, i love this attitude really being yeah. an indian and you know standing yes. for the yes, yes. india yes it's a yes. great stand for india i must yeah. say yeah, yeah definitely. so this startup is actually helping our india to save the projects i must yeah, say yeah this. yeah definitely That's and in, important, in fact yeah. i have another proposition like mm -hmm. for example if employers mm. There is, a, there is a, actually, there is always a chicken and egg problem that yeah, they will yeah, run yeah. into. See, unless until they have enough bench, they can't go and quote hmm. for the other uh, customers of them mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to get the projects. Hmm. But having, maintaining a bench is always a costly affair. Hmm. Because there is no project uh, right now assigned for the, any resource, but you still have to pay the salaries. But with our, if, if they associate with us, the biggest advantage is that we always have always running pool of people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's mostly like they can consider that they already have a virtual bench with us and a partnership with them, with, with us, actually they can talk confidently to their customers mm -hmm. saying that if you give any work, I already have a gold, silver, platinum partnership with Hiring Hood. I can actually line up people faster oh, in no time. Wow. Because I always have ready-made pools available. That's a great initiative. I must say, I love this concept. Yeah. And the way you have expressed the views and the journey, it's mm. really inspiration. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sharad Garu. I mean, I think in the future, we'll do more of the interviews as you expand yeah. Pan India already there. Yeah. Yes. Internationally, we want. Yeah. And we want more sectors. Yes, Banking, definitely. hospitality, so many sectors yeah. you can e work on. E-commerce, retail and everything. So I think the option should be given to every person to get associated with you. Yeah, right? definitely. And we also are looking for partnerships when it comes to assessment as a service mm -hmm. and interview as a service, BGV checks and all, because that's non-core area for mm -hmm. us. So we would like to do uh, partnerships uh, with uh, recruitment tech companies mm -hmm. who actually can partner with us.
and we where we focus on the core aspects of the recruitment part of the side of things. They will come to you definitely. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, Sharad sir. Thank you. I thank am you so much. Thank you for giving your precious time. Thank, thank you, Neha. So thanks for the opportunity. No, no. We also wanted to explore this, and I think the message should go through this media. You guys are doing really well. I mean, saving the India. Yes. I yes. must say. <laughs> yes. Yes. So one project go outside. It's a loss for no, us. No, so we shouldn't. It's a great we, we don't. We should, yeah, we shouldn't allow that. Time. That's that's the. Really makes me feel that yeah, I'm doing the right thing. I'm yes. doing the right interview. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Sh Sharad. Thank, yeah, thank you. you. That was really interesting topic to talk about. That the India should not lose any kind of projects outside, and hiring would be doing really remarkable work. Well, for more updates, keep watching. I dream.